Before we get into these Rick and Morty-tastic drinks, we got a couple of things to open up from the P.O. Box, which is great because it seems like they did it for me. I love the fact that my post office cares so much about my packages that they just get let them get ripped and destroyed. Thank you, United States Postal Service. Very much appreciated. Here we go. Here's the thing. This is for Miss Sin. Hope y'all are doing well. Much love. Thank you for the wonderful content and community. Plus, I thought I should make it up to her after sending the Shrek blanket last time from Bun Bun. Thank you very much, Bun Bun. Got the uh, the three-in-one bunny Lego thing that Miss Sin was talking about. Dope. I'm sure she'll love it. And this one, another one that completely ripped, is a book, Machine to Man. Ooh, a novel. Is there a note? Uh, at Velvet... Cum pub on the bird app. Also, 16 the dishwasher isn't fixed by the time this gets her Shelly with be mad. All right, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. I will check it out. I do love a good book. But I'm going to clear this up and we're going to make the first drink. I assume that was English. I keep the notes, by the way, always. Keep first one is called Get Swifty. Take off your pants and your panties, shit on the floor, time to get swifty in here. This is a shot made, uh, ounce of each one. We're gonna need a, ooh, good pop. An ounce of the Grand Marnier. We already have ice in our tin. We will shake it and strain it into a shot glass. Ounce of the Baileys. I almost completely whiffed that pour. That would have been great. One ounce of Baileys. And I still spilled some, so it makes sense. And then an ounce of Kahlua. These are some pretty heavy flavors to be adding to this. So let's see. An ounce. Well, I was a little shy of an ounce. Even it off. Just. All right. Shake, nice chilled, strain it into our shot glass, to get swifty. It's not horrible, it's not horrible. There's almost a chocolatey-ness in the back of it. It's very creamy, very heavy. I, I don't know why this is a shot, you'd have to, I think you have to sip this one, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I can see Rick drinking this for sure. Gotta get Swifty in here. Hey, take your pants off. It's Swifty time today. I like what you got. Good job. All right, this next one is perfect, perfectly titled Summer's Like Best Drink Ever. I could just hear her saying it. So I had a, after a couple of ingredients that I don't have. It calls for Sprite, but I have sweet and sour and club soda. So I think we'll be able to make it work. But okay, we need a splash of cranberry juice. That's a little bit. An ounce and a half of our peach schnapps. So we might pour that a little bit heavy. Yeah, there we go. About an ounce and a half of our peach schnapps. We need an ounce and a half of our tequila rose which really is, if you've never had it, it is a, such a unique, interesting flavor. It's strawberry cream tequila. It's, it's very interesting. I made for a party a couple of years ago, it was a Halloween party, I did the Vax and the Booster. The Vax was cotton candy, three olives, and Fago. And the Booster was tequila rose and banana bourbon. So strawberry, banana, tequila, bourbon. It was, in I just hit my mic. It was incredible. So we need that. We need, wait, is that it? Okay, yes, that's all we shake. Now we're gonna put our ice in. Shake. Blend, while we let that blend together, we're gonna take just a dash of our sweet and sour mix. And this is where we make our own spray. Put a little bit of that so we have just the Sprite flavor profile in there. 
lemon, lime, and carbonation. And we're gonna strain like summer's best drink like ever out into this. And it's summer's like best drink ever. That is a lot of flavor. Um, Jolly Rancher kind of comes to mind. Uh, hard candy. The strawberry is loud present right in the front, but the peach is definitely in there. And it's a lot of flavors going for the top of the line. You have strawberry, peach, cranberry, and lemon and lime. But it's pretty good, I'll bet you we put just a little bit of vodka in here. Like a half an ounce of vodka. That's a lot better. It tones the drink down. You really get the strawberry and the sweet and sour is just hanging in there. That is a lot better, but this is a phenomenal drink. This is one I'm hopeful about. This is one I'm very interested in seeing how it turns out. I need one ounce blue carousel, one and a quarter ounce of Reposado tequila, one three quarters Reposado, half ounce of agave, so a half ounce of agave syrup, just that little bit, yeah. I should have eyeballed that in because it's gonna be a bad, oh, okay, maybe not too bad get out of the jigger. But hopefully the half ounce of lime juice I'm about to put in there will help break it up. No, I lied, it's not a half ounce of lime juice, it is one and a half ounces of lime juice. Pre-rolled, pre-done, of course I cut right on the sticker. So we need one and a half ounces of our lime juice. Wow, this thing sucks so bad. In my never ending juicer search, I got one of these guys. Oh, wow, yeah, look at that. That's just, ooh. This is a game changer, look at, jeez. Nice, look at that. Absolutely perfect. Incredible. Wow, oh, that's amazing. Okay, now whatever. All right, shake. I'm not gonna rim this glass <laughs> this time. <laughs> We're just gonna pour it right in a, a fizz glass because it's what I have. Wow, that is. That's pretty. That is an aromatic drink. Morty's Margarita. Interesting. Very, very tequila heavy. Uh, the agave is just lost in there. The lime juice is present, but tardy, if that makes sense. It's, it's interesting. It's what you'd expect out of a margarita but blue. I don't know, not my favorite of this one. Not my favorite, it, it tastes like tequila and lime. This one is called Rick Roll. And the description of, I got these all from a website. The description of this is what they think is in Rick's flask. I don't think so, because I looked it up and it said just vodka. It's just vodka in his flask. But one day I'll do a video of what I think he would keep in his flask because my thoughts are he probably keeps something a little stronger in there. But this one's called Rick Rolled. And I think, I don't remember what site it was. We'll talk about that at a different time. So we need one ounce of lemon juice. And I think this is gonna be my go-to juicer from here on out because this thing just blows away the squeezers and shit. Sure, I need the, the strainer, but 
Maybe I need to buy less shitty squeezes, but this is amazing. And I know I got more than an ounce out of that. Yeah, look at that. It's almost two full ounces from one go. So an ounce of lemon. You need an ounce of sweet and sour. heavy on that. And then two ounces of our, oh fuck. I needed vice grips to get this off last time. <laughs> two ounces of our Midori. Melon, lemon, lime. Oh, I'm feeling about this one already. Eh, it smells pretty good. Let's give it a shake. While that's going, we're gonna prepare a wedge for our garnish. Set that right there. Then we're gonna strain. The Rick rolled. It's actually not bad. Very lemony. When you take the sip, the lemon wedge, the oils go right in your face. It's very lemony, very melony. It's not obviously melony. It's it's pretty good. This one is called Mr. Poopy. <laughs> I'm an adult. I swear I could get through this. Mr. Poopy Butthole's Pina Colada. Mr. Poopy Butthole Pina Colada. We're gonna need four ounces of. Uh, Pineapple juice, two, four, and those are both a little bit shy, so I'm just gonna add that little bit in there. Four ounces of pineapple juice, two ounces of rum. We're using our three star. And most of these drinks so far that I've made have been called out by name, like it's a brand, Grand Marnier, Kahlua Bailey's. This one we're using our three star rum. It's a little bit more of a uh, stronger, not stronger, but uh, better tasting rum than the average one. I could use one of these, but they're a little bit thinner and I want something that has that punch because we have a lot of other stuff in this. We need two ounces, I should probably shake it up first, of our OJ. And it also calls for an ounce of creme de coconut. And I was like, oh man, I got that here. Not coconut, ginger but I don't think that'll go well in a pina colada. So we're gonna shake right now. Shake, shake. We're gonna strain into a hurricane glass. See that one ounce of creme de coconut would really make it look better. We're gonna give it a, t oh wow, that smells amazing. Mr. Poopy Butthole. Mr. Poopy Butthole's pina colada. Wow, rum has completely hidden in this drink, 100%. You, it's pineapple juice first and foremost, and then a little bit of orange. You can only tell that there's a heavy spirit in here when it gets to about here and you feel the heat of it. That just tastes like pineapple juice. That's fantastic. For the last one, it's called Beth and Jerry's Dysfunctional Jug. And I think that's a perfect way to round it out. So we will be building this in a highball. We need two ounces, playing clams over here, two ounces of our vodka. Going Russian standard on this. Russian standard is kind of my go-to mixing vodka. It's pretty cheap, but it's not too powerful. It's not too ethanol-y tasty. Like if I'm doing a good drink, I'll bust out the Belvedere or something like that, but just mixing a drink, Russian standard's fine. I need two ounces of our orange liqueur. Curacao again. This one is more of a dry curacao. And considering the other ingredients in here, kind of something that not bitters the drink, but kind of evens it out is gonna be the way to go. 
because we have a lot of other stuff happening in here. One ounce of our crayon juice. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. We need three ounces of cranberry juice. So one ounce and then two ounces. I got a whiteboard off screen where I keep all this stuff written down. We need an ounce of lemon juice. And my new favorite squeezer ever, strain that right into our jigga, one ounce of this. And shake. Oh, that, I'm gonna strain this right. I hope you guys heard all that. I'm gonna strain this right into our highball, fizz, whatever glass. Ben and, ben and Jerry's. Beth and Jerry's dysfunctional jug. It, it's light and thin, very cranberry heavy. The orange is in there a little bit, but it's, it's almost airy on the tongue. I wonder if it would taste different if I did it in a stirring glass instead of in a shaker. It tastes like a vodka cranberry with just a hint of orange in there. But guys, that is it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, please leave it down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and sharing, which you will do right now as I'm saying this. I'll give you a second to do it. That's plenty of time. And thank you to all the patrons listed down below. Find me on all the social medias, whatever. We are this close to breaking the 2K mark. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.